Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Here I'm gonna be removing and reinstalling the cowl on this 2008 Chevy Silverado work truck. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. All right, we're gonna start by opening the hood right next to the kick panel. Pull on that lever. Then underneath the hood, there's a catch right here. Move it to the right, right there. Lift up on the hood. All right, now there's a little cover over the wiper arm. I'm just gonna take a straight blade screwdriver. You could also take a 90 degree pick, get underneath here, there's a little latch and then slide that up, and then you can access the nut. Now I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet, and it'll loosen up this nut, and take it off. Pull that off. Now I'm gonna grab the wiper arm, just rock it up and down to release it down below on the shaft. Slide it up. Just like that, and then twist it. Now there is the washer nozzle hose. Uh, we're gonna disconnect that down here. Just slide that off, just like that. And pull the arm off. And now I'm gonna do the same and take the other side off. I'm going to remove this cover on this side. Uh, I'm going to use some trim tools. Just get underneath here. Just pry up. And then use my hand to pry up over here. Underneath here. Just pry up over here. Just like that. Slide this out. There's these clips that hold it on. I'm gonna do the same with the other side. The other side has the antenna, so I'm gonna to have to be a little more careful. Sometimes the hood gets in your way, so you might have to close the hood. Just close it down a little bit. You can slide up, and just slide this over the antenna. There's the three clips. Set that aside. This is a seven millimeter bolt right there, or screw. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. Take this one out. And there's one on this side as well. Take this screw out. Now I'm gonna lift the hood back up. All right, with the hood up, we can remove this screw. It's a seven millimeter as well. And the passenger side, there's one as well. Remove this one. All right, now I'm gonna take these two clips off. There's one on either side of the cowl. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver. Get underneath the pick, underneath the clip. Just slide it out. Just grab it and pull it out. All right, we have this ground strap that goes to the hood. Um, ours is actually broken here, so I don't have to disconnect anything. If you wanted to, you could take that 10 millimeter nut off right there. Just use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. All right, before I pull the cowl up completely, there is a push pin on the back side here. I'm just going to use a trim tool, slide underneath it, pry it up. Be careful not to crack the windshield. While you're doing that. Sometimes that's difficult to do, so I'm just gonna take a longer trim tool, get it from underneath. And just pry it out. This is actually a washer hose. We can disconnect over here. Underneath here is a junction, you can just spread it. Disconnect it right there. Pull the washer hose through. And then pull the 
cow straight out. Before I install the cow, I want to push this push pin out and just make it easier to, to get installed and in the right position. Just push it through. Pull that out. All right, now I'm going to slide this in position. Move that ground strap if it's in your way. And slide this up here. Might have to bend it a little bit. And then make sure you get this, this hose for the washer. This is gonna go down here. Once this whole thing's in position, then we can actually connect the washer hose. Just connect this up here to the hose. All right, that's reconnected. Now there's a retainer right below this hinge spring. And that's good. Before I install this push pin, I'm gonna get these seven millimeter screws started. That one right there. There's also one up here. Yep, that one started there. And then this one started. Now that those are started, I can push this push pin in. Right over here. Might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to line up properly. And there we go. I'm gonna tighten these screws down, the seven millimeter socket and a ratchet. And we'll just snug those down, all four of those, and just snug, not too tight. It is plastic. Now we're gonna reinstall these two clips. There's one on this side and one on the passenger side. Just slide it on. I'm gonna reinstall this cover. Just push the hood down a little bit. This side, we're gonna go over the antenna. Then you gotta kind of angle this below the fender a little bit. And push it down, lock it in place. Same with this side. Under the fender. Lock it in place. Right, we're gonna take the wiper arm, just line this up position. It's actually a little bit easier to take and install the washer hose now. Just get that lined up and push it on. Just like that. Now that the arm's on, we'll just push it down. Now on the windshield, there is a little mark. Generally, a little tab where the wiper should go. You can line that up with that. If it doesn't, um, you could mark it before you take it off or just position the blades where you would want the blades to be. I'm gonna take the wiper nut, install the nut, and push down on the arm when you're installing the nut. A 15 millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. I'll just tighten this down. Now I'm gonna take a torque wrench and the 15 millimeter socket. I'm gonna to torque this nut down to 22 foot pounds. And I can take the cover and lock the cover back down. I'll do the same with the other one. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.